Joining us now is Scott Shelley, Senior Vice President with TJM Investments. Scott, thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Hey, we will start with the uh, green markets. How are they looking on this Tuesday morning? Yeah, we're going to give back some more today. It looks like across the board we've got wheat down nine cents, uh, corn down about five, and, and beans giving back about seven. So we to continue uh, <clears throat> that negative feeling in corn and beans that we had yesterday. Wheat kind of held in yesterday and kind of was the stalwart of the of the pack. But, you know, with that dollar continuing its march higher with what we've got happening in Greece, it's going to be kind of difficult. And uh, the weather's starting to cooperate a little bit more. You had uh, Greece reject a, a, an austerity deal. You have uh, China the, trying to do a stimulus package. That uh, sort of rattled the markets. Are you seeing any effect in the uh, the markets here at home? Well, you know, we, <clears throat> we've rallied as of late on too much water. Uh, and I can't remember the last time I went home for a Fourth of July weekend worrying about getting more rain. Uh, usually we're worried about burning the crop up. So when we didn't get that rain, the market did tail off. And then on top of it, you had to add that no vote in Greece. And then, uh, again, even today, we've seen some Chinese shares enter bear, uh, you know, Chinese indexes enter bear market territory as far as the sell-off goes. So they've got their problems over there. So there isn't really a, lot, a ton of good news out there. And we might have some profit taking from these rallies as of late because we've got another crop report coming up on the 10th. Uh, switching gears here a little bit, livestock markets, how are they trending? Well, uh, yesterday, hogs down the first time in four sessions, so they've kind of made a comeback. I'm not as worried about them as I was. Technically speaking, they look okay. But after that July 4th, <clears throat> July 4th weekend, we did see a little bit of a sell-off, and that kind of was across the board selling just because of what was happening globally. But uh, we've, uh, we saw the cattle come off as well a little bit. But, you know, the, the headlines are uh, maybe slowing demand, but at the same time, there's a drought in Canada that's affecting uh, cattle prices as well as what we've got going on in California. So... Although we did give back a little bit yesterday, I still think the cattle look good, both feeder and live cattle. And it's good to see that the hog market kind of found a bottom in uh, late June. Uh, crude oil may re remains uh, pretty low. Gas prices creeping on up. But how has that affected the biofuels market? Well, it's been pretty, pretty volatile. And I think uh, what we've got happening in crude is kind of a culmination of a perfect storm. We've got Iran coming back online. We've got Chinese growth slowing. And this is a high demand season for our crude, and, and uh, uh, even though our demand is at uh, record highs, our, our supply is at record highs and then some. So we're still producing more than we use. All three of those things weighing on the market, and if we do have a, a local or a global slow economy, that's going to affect the biofuels and crude and crude will lead the way. That is all of my question. Anything else you'd like to add that maybe we wouldn't uh, chat about? No, I mean, we saw some volatility in uh, the, the, the three that we trade, corn, wheat, and beans, on the Board of Trade last week. Uh, but it looks like that volatility kind of waned a little bit yesterday, so people got a little bit more comfortable, and they felt as though the rally's over, and it looks like that uh, might have started again today. So we'll see what we get, but uh, the options volatilities are telling me that people are feeling a little bit easier. All right, sounds good. Thanks for your time this morning, Scott. All right, good luck. All right. Once again, that was Scott Shelley, Senior Vice President with TJM Investments. Coming up, one last look at your weather and a sneak peek at what's coming up next on The Valley Today.